Hey everybody, we got a lot to talk about guys. Um, really, I'm really, really disappointed how um, narcissists, what disappoints me, what they do is they get mad when other people um, step in and try to help you out. Now we got to um, cover that and go into detail on that, but I just wanted to um, check in with everybody. Hope y'all are doing well guys. This is a new year, you know, keeping those toxic um you know, people out of your lives as far as you, you know, can be away from them. It's just going to benefit you so much, guys. I promise you. It's a new year. You know, use your stimulus money wisely. You know, you don't have to give it to these narcissists. Just if 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 it's if you can save it for a rainy day, guys, because you never know if you may have to deal with a narcissist in a you know in a legal setting or anything. So yeah, that's what um was on my mind. But yeah, let me let me jump into this, guys. Um, how in the heck can they get mad when someone else help helps you out? Though, just think about this: these people have enablers. They got enablers helping them. Um, feeling sorry for all for them over and over again, and and just giving them chance after chance after chance. Like it just never ends. They know the enablers are always going to be there. Cause they're so indecisive. Then they got the flying monkeys and um, gang stalkers and all these people that um, are there to help the narcissist when they get into a lot of chaos, a lot of drama. These individuals step in, and it benefits the narcissist in many ways. It helps the narcissist when they're in attacking you. It helps the narcissist when they're going at you, trying to destroy you, bring you down. It helps them keep um their eye on you without even have without you even knowing it's them because you know a lot of them flying monkeys and and um gang stalkers and are doing a watching and stuff for them and gossiping and you know they got all these people that that help them um in ways where it benefits them and what makes me so angry is that you're supposed to be by yourself versus all of these people it's just it's bullying it's unfair how, it's like it's like getting in a fight and you got numerous people jumping on you versus one person. The narcissist doesn't play fair. You see what I'm saying? It, it's just the same thing. It's just literally bullying. They need all of these people to go against you, to say things about you, to stalk you, um, lie on you. And all of these you know, people are helping them. But as soon as somebody comes in and helps you, oh no, it's a problem. It's a problem for the narcissist. The narcissist is pissed. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, because it's a change of plans, you know. You change the plans around. When somebody's involved in, in um, you know, helping on your end, the narcissist is like, they have to do things differently. They can't run up on you, you know, like they want to because somebody else is in the picture, you know. Um, they have to change a lot of their plans and re-strategize. And it can take time to do that, honestly. Remember, they are predators. They are very calculated. So it can take a lot of time and effort happen to redo all of these plans that they have for you. All of them. All of the evil, dirty little plans that they had. So it can take, it can throw their plans off an extra year or something. That's why a lot of people talk about hoovering, why you don't get hoover and different things. Because a narcissist has to have a plan. They make a plan, they strategize, and they go forth with it. You know, even if it's a real dirty plan. So the the problem that I have, like I said, you're not supposed to have nobody helping you. You're not supposed to have a a friend. You know, it don't even have to be a boyfriend or whatever. Just somebody that's there, an outlet. Because the narcissist has to understand who this friend is. They have to go start researching stuff about this friend, trying to find dirt on them. And it, the more they find, the better. You know, if they find something on on the friend, oh yeah, they're gonna let you have it. I'm telling you, you know, if they find, um, you know, any dirt or whatever, they're going to use it against anybody. So they got to go at the friend or even if it's a new spouse or whoever, they got to go at them too and um, try to hurt you both. They really want to get the um, other person out of the picture, really, so they can focus back in into hurting you again and um, punishing you and torturing you. It's just really, it's really insane though. That's 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 one of the problems that I have. It bothers them that you have one person on your side or a few people on your side versus all of these people that they have on their side 
doing all these strange, um, weird and, um, just cruel things to you, but just to have somebody there, it, it messes up their plan to me. That's why I think that they get mad when, you know, other people step in to help you out. Other people may help you out financially, you know, to get, get your things out of their place or to, um, you know, get your children, get custody of your children or, you know, help you with attorney fees. And they are pissed because it, it's not easy. They want an easy, an easy game, an easy kill, you know, and it's just not, it, it doesn't become that easy to them. It comes a lot, it becomes a lot more complicated and they have to put more effort into it, to it. So they really, um, really get, um, what, what am I, what am I going to say? Um, I think that they really get, um, obsessed, really more obsessed, you know, because they have to keep their eye on this person, keep their eye on you. And I'm um, just to try to control the whole situation. Um, it, it becomes more of a challenge for them. So the thing about it is that I say, you know, get all the help you can get, you know, these people, nobody should have to deal with all of this bullying by themselves, get all the help and support you can get, but just be careful. You don't have to go bragging about who you got. The less the narcissist knows about who's helping you or, you know, whatever, who's in the picture, the better, you know, but if it comes a case, if it becomes a case where, you know, in certain situations where they have to know about this person, especially if you share children together, just make sure this person, you know, has their nose clean, you know, meaning, you know, it's a person that is not involved in, in things like the narcissist and, and you understand who this person really is and, and know their background and understand them. But, uh, you know, as far as the narcissist, I, re- I really do think that, um, it messes up a lot of their, their game plan and their, um, their goals that they had and, and things that they had planned. That's why they, um, really get upset when other people step in and help you out. And it's, it's a shame because they don't mind bullying you. They don't mind sitting here making you angry, making you upset, making you depressed. But when you have somebody there that can help speak the truth, they can see what's going on with the narcissist. The narcissist has to back off. And in some cases, they have to back off in many cases because they are going to get somebody else. And they know this. It makes things hard, harder. So that's that that may be why the narcissist may go um. A bit, it is a big reason why they go silent, why you don't hear from them for a while, because they don't, they have to figure out what to do, how to make this person look bad, how to make you look bad too. So it's just, um, they have to go in and, and re-strategize and, and, you know, target another individual. It it, it makes it, they get frustrated and, um, and confused. So like I said, it, you know, it could take a few years for them to start bothering you again if they feel like nobody's in that picture anymore if that person that you're you know that you befriended is not in that picture anymore or if the narcissist feel like you guys are weak or if they're hearing things they may hear things through the children that you share together you know you got to be really careful with your business and things that get back to the narcissist because they are waiting they're watching and they want to see you fail they want to see a weakness in your relationship or your friendships or whatever the case may be they are looking to see if this is going to fail or if you know, there are issues there so they can step right in and try to cause issues with you and confusion to make things a lot more worse for you. They they know. They always are um really watching, keeping their ears out there, keeping their eyes online on your social medias and and Facebooks and Instagrams and it's just it's just a shame, you know, it's just a shame that you can't live your life freely and, and be happy and you know, in a way where you where you are at peace but you have to sit here and and watch your back because you have somebody on you that wants to literally destroy you and single you out but when you have help they hate that and they kind of and and they kind of got to back off and they can't do the things that they want to do but they don't mind having all the help that they can get from people to to go in and destroy you with lying and not telling these people the truth because they don't know that you're not causing these issues for the narcissist. The narcissist is causing these issues. So it, it's just these people are really um toxic and really sick. And I would say stay away as far as away from them as you can. It's not worth it. You know, even if you got kids with them, it's very, um, you know, strategic steps that you got to take to keep at least a piece of your sanity. You know, 
because they're going to make it difficult as they can. So, um, yeah, those those are my thoughts on that. Um, tell me, y'all, what y'all think about this, and I will see you guys soon, and I'll talk to you later.